Hey everyone, so I'm going to be unboxing the Dell Chromebook 14. This is the 7486 model. Uh, this is normally 550 bucks at Best Buy. I got it on sale for 100 bucks off for 450 bucks. So there you go. You can see this is the 7486. It has 14 inch full HD touch display. It has an i3 in it, uh, 8130U. Uh, and it has 4 gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage in it. And of course it has the Ultra HD graphics. And of course it's running the Google Chrome OS. First thing in the box that you agreed with are the charger cables. Very, very exciting stuff. Alright, so now you can see I took it out of the box. Uh, then you also get some papers. You get the inspiring Chromebook 14. Two and one, and then some warranty papers. All right, so we took it out of the plastic here, so I'm gonna show it off a bit. A nice dark silver color. You can see here it says Dell, and then also has the Chromebook or the Chrome symbol and name there. Uh, so the first side here has the power button. It has your volume racker, I believe is what that is. Correct me if I'm wrong. A micro SD card slot and a USB type C there. Then the other side here has there's another USB type C, a normal USB, I believe that's what USB type A, and then a headphone jack, which you can not get with everything these days. Back there has some of them, I guess those are heat vents. And the very bottom is where you will find two, one on either side, speaker grills, along with another vent. And the front, again, 14 inch full HD display. And you do have a front facing camera there. And then of course you have your trackpad and your keyboard there as well. Okay, so I plugged it in and now it's turned on and actually turns on incredibly fast. And one more thing I forgot to show. I don't know how I forgot to show this, but it does come with a stylus as well. Which is actually one of the reasons why I bought this tablet over, or this Chromebook, I don't know why I call it a tablet. Chromebook over other ones, uh, because it comes with this. I believe the Samsung's also come with one as well. Uh, but the Samsung's do not have as good of specs inside of them. Alright, now we're going to do the setup of this. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. I'm going to resume in. Okay, I'm sorry, it's a little bit off center. Uh, yeah, so this is of course touchscreen and of course it has a stylus like I sh just showed. Uh, so we're just going to go through the setup here. So it says welcome. I'm going to try and get my hands out of the way as much as possible. Uh, so you set up your... Wi-Fi. Right, after Wi-Fi, it looks like it's going to be checking for some updates here. Uh, then you can sign into into Google. So sign into your Chromebook. So I'll do that. I'll be right back. And right, then once you're signed in, it will tell you that it will do Chrome Sync and then personalize Google services. Accept it. Uh, accept this. Google Play terms and uh, services again. All right. Uh, then we can install apps from other devices. Apparently this is probably on my phone, I'm gonna guess. Uh, we are just going to skip it though. I didn't know I even had some of those, but okay. Um, you can connect your phone. Let's see, if you have an Android phone it looks like. Uh, let's see, so you can text from your computer, share your internet connection, and unlock your Chromebook with your phone. That is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna do that. So I do have a Samsung phone. Uh, it actually shows you right here what phone it is. All right, so you push that. I wasn't sure what it was gonna do, so I paused the video. Uh, and it, it just went to the home screen, so I'm not sure what actually happened there. Uh, so let's see, smart lock is turned on. Next time your phone will unlock your Chromebook, turn off smart lock in settings. Okay. Uh, let's see, we have this stuff here. Uh, yeah, so this thing, I think it's pretty much good to go. 
So this is my settings, or your settings. I see a whole bunch of stuff here. I will get rid of that. Uh, so I know it's my name apparently. Uh, of course that's from, you know, Google. All right, uh, let's take, go ahead and take a tour here. So we'll get to apps fast by hitting that. Uh, check your Chromebook status. Manage connections, updates, and settings with the stylus, status tray to get to get here by keyboard, press Alt Shift S. Alt Shift and S. You probably can't see my hand. Uh, right. That's pretty cool. If I remember that, I probably won't. But uh, let's see. If we can make it yours. Yada yada yada. Uh, right. And I will come back to that. All right. Let's just do a quick go on to the internet real fast. Uh, I wonder if I should be signing in for this to work, for all that stuff to work. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, so right now you do get Google uh, Disney Plus for free, it looks like for three months. Let's go on to YouTube.com and see how fast this baby works. Uh, my internet is pretty quick. I don't know what happened there. So let's see. Yep, there we go. And we'll just try out one more website real fast, then we'll end this video. Oh yeah, so again, I got it for 450 bucks from Best Buy right now. Oh, it sounds pretty good. Uh, this is probably one of the best computers you can, or Chromebooks you can get right now. Uh, and it looked like, I mean, unless you go out more money, of course. Uh, especially for only 450 bucks, this one seemed really nice. Other ones that are cheaper, I mean, you can spend 100, 200 bucks on a Chromebook, then you're getting a uh, Celeron instead of an i3. You know, you're getting, I think, pretty much the same amount of RAM. Uh, then you're only getting like 32 gigabytes or 16 gigabytes of storage compared to 100 and, what is this, 100 and, whatever the heck it was. Or I forgot what number it was, 128. Uh, and even for the same price, there's a Samsung that's normally 450, uh, still was 450. You only get, I think, like 32 or 64 gigabytes of storage, and then you still only have the saw run. Uh, so this one seemed really nice, especially when it's on sale like it was. So. And it looks like it loads pretty dang fast. I think this is faster than my tablets are. It's faster than my old, old MacBook is. Uh, which is actually still pretty fast. I have a 2012 or 2013 MacBook that... It was pretty quick still. Come on, right here. Ah, sure, we'll try out one more quick website here. This is actually going to go to Steam, which we now want. This is loading really fast. Yeah, and this only has an i3 in it for a processor. So it isn't like an i5, i7 or something. And look at that though, everything's already loaded on here. Cool. Alright, yeah, so that is that is this guy. That is the Dell Inspiron Inspiron? Inspiron, right? 14 uh 7486 2 in 1. Uh, I guess I can show folding it up. Uh the stylus. Does just go on the bottom here, and then folding up, you just fold it up. Uh, this one too does have the back of the keyboard, which I th find to be very nice. I'm sure a lot of other people do too. There we go. So this is pretty cool. You know, it says like a laptop and tablet in in the same device. So, all right, guys, thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully, this wasn't too boring. Um, yeah, see you guys next time. Hope you guys have a good one. Goodbye.